Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have an interesting limit. What is the limit as x approaches to zero of the function x cubed plus 4x all over 7x? So let's use direct substitution at first as well. So I recommend you to use direct substitution every time and we will see what will happen. Okay, if you put zero, we will have zero plus zero, zero in our denominator and in our denominator we will have zero as well. So we have zero over zero. Zero, zero is undefined, so we don't know what the values that represent. So we need to find to use a little bit trick right here to cancel this identify ex undefined expression. So what are you going to do in our case? I want to suggest you a L'Hopital's rule, or if you don't know this rule, learn this rule, remember this rule, and don't forget this rule. Because what is this rule about? If you have, for example, a function, if you have a limit as x approaches to a, for example, over f of x over g of x and this limit if we use direct substitution will be equal to 0 over 0 so will give us an undefined answer or this limit x approaches to a of this function f of x in our denominator and g of x in our denominator will be equal to infinity over infinity so two cases 0 0 or infinity over infinity then we can apply a L'Hopital's rule. So then we apply L'Hopital's rule. x approaches to a. So we f prime of x over g prime of x. So if we have 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, of course, then we can find derivative from our denominator and derivative from our denominator. So let's use this rule right here. Let's see what will happen. Okay. Finding derivative from our denominator and from our denominator. So I write this right here. So we will have limit x approaches to 0 and finding derivative from our denominator x cubed plus 4x all over 7x derivative. Of course, let's find this. This is a table cases. This is not like sign. This is not like natural log this is table cases so we find the derivative from this x cube it will be 3x square and plus 4 because the derivative of x will be 1 so 4 times 1 will be 4 and of course dividing by 7 from here and take a look if you plug in 0 what will have 0 right here but we will have 4 over 7 and this is our answer and as you can see, we don't have any undefined undefined expression. We don't have 0 over 0. We don't have infinity over infinity, 1 to the power of infinity. So we know what the values that represent, 4 over 7. And moreover, if you have 0 over 0 once more, or in our case, it will be a 0 over 0 once more, you can use, you can apply this L'Hopital's rule once more, once more, and once more. So this is a really good rule. Of course, we cannot use this rule like for every function, but in our case, this rule works as well. So thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting the up. I really appreciate it if you if you subscribing, if you writing comments. It's really appreciating for me, and I I want to do more and more and more high mass video integrals, matrix derivatives, and of course, many many more high mass videos. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, put it up, up. See you in the next videos.